Hey guys, we have been given an equation and we are being asked to determine what the slope and y-intercept are from this equation. Okay, we could graph this equation as a line. They want to know how steep it is, that's the slope, and where it intersects the y-axis. Okay, that's our y-intercept. So what we need here is to get it into slope-intercept form. Okay, slope-intercept form looks a little something like this. Okay. It's when y is by itself and everything else is on the other side, okay? When you have a y and an x, okay? It's not x squared, x cubed, or anything. That'll give you something different. This is when we just have an x and a y, okay? We get y by itself. So, good news here. On this problem, y is already by itself, okay? If the 7 were over here or something, we would add to both sides or do whatever we needed to do to get y alone, okay? So, now that y is alone, I have it all set up very nicely, okay? When it looks like this, the number in front of my X, which a lot of times we call M, is my slope, okay? So my slope here is five, okay? And you'll often see people just say M equals five for the slope, or you could put slope equals five, either way. So I'm gonna put slope is five, okay? Again, you could also write as M equals five if you wanted to. And then my Y intercept, again, when my equation is written like this, is whatever is being added or subtracted on the back, okay? And a lot of times we call that V, okay? So in this case, my Y intercept is negative seven, okay? And just like that, there's my slope and my Y intercept. We could graph a line with this, which is in your future. Okay, and I'll actually, I'll link a video in the corner if you need that. Okay, let's look at our second one here. Okay, again, make sure that your Y is alone. In this case it is, so I don't have to change anything around. Um, if it wasn't alone, I'd do what I needed to do to get it alone. Okay, but we already have Y alone. So whatever is in front of my X is my slope. Okay, so my slope in this one is negative one half. Sometimes I'll see students write, oh, sorry, that was weird, write an X here, but the X actually isn't part of the slope. It just helps you um, find what the slope is, okay? But you don't actually write the X as part of your slope, okay? Now, my Y-intercept is whatever is being added or subtracted on the back. So in this case, my Y-intercept is one. And I should say, we could write the y-intercepts as ordered pairs, okay? And if we did, the ordered pair would be 0, 1, okay? And on the other one, it would be 0, negative 7, okay? Sorry, I should have done that from the beginning. <laughs> okay, hopefully that made sense. I'll link some other videos if you need them. Bye!